guys. How's everyone doing? <laughs> Happy Monday. Mindful Monday. Mindful Monday, Mindfulness Monday, Meditation Monday. I don't know. I haven't decided what I want to call it. <laughs> I was supposed to do this earlier today, but I had a lot going on. So it's never too late for a meditation and a reading, right guys? Okay, let me just get myself situated here. Yay! Deep cleaning the house. That sounds so nice. I started, um, I was cleaning the house a little bit today. I, ha I still have like, I don't know if you guys can see it. I have a big piece of sage right there. That was a gift from um, the previous owners of the house that we bought from. And I still haven't used it to cleanse my house, so I got to do that. But um, I'm waiting for the time to feel right to do it. So yeah. How are you guys doing? So this is going to be, um, this will be recorded. I will play, I will have a replay. And then I will also have, hi guys, I will also have, um, the I'm going to upload it onto my YouTube channel so that you guys can um, go see it on YouTube if you want, <laughs> if you can't stick around. Um, so basically, welcome to Mindfulness Monday. We are going to be doing a little reading for the week, um, and then we're going to be doing a meditation. So um, earlier today, I was like really trying to think of what kind of a meditation that I wanted to do for you guys and I keep going back to grounded because I know for me um earlier last week I was not grounded at all um I was having a lot of anxiety really really bad almost crippling anxiety um midweek so <laughs> I don't know about you guys but I could use a grounding meditation if you hear um, whining or barking in the background it's because I have Apollo in here with me <laughs> um, I'm trying to give Luna a break so I'm gonna have him in the room with me today um, so yeah I had really bad anxiety I don't know if you guys experience anxiety or if you have your own like things but I was really bad on um, Thursday and Friday and it was awful so I need to be grounded and I did a little bit of a outside like I spent some time outside when I had Apollo out front to get some sun so I was getting my vitamin D and then I literally I took my shoe my, my flip-flops off and I put my bare feet in my um, in the grass in the front yard of my house so it was really nice. It was a little weird because I'm like, I'm not a fan of grass. I get allergic to grass, actually. <laughs> it gives me the itchies and I get rash. But I figured like a couple seconds of my bare feet in the grass shouldn't kill me. So I did that and it was very, um, it was very relaxing. So I was like, you know what? I think for my meditation today, I'm going to do a grounding meditation. Hi, guys. All the way from upstate New York. Oh my gosh, it's probably like, is it snowing up there? <laughs> I believe everyone needs a grounding exercise every day. Yeah, you're so right. Every day we should be doing that. Um, at least in some form, right? Like grounding yourself based on maybe wearing a certain crystal that grounds you or literally doing a meditation before you get out of bed or putting your feet in the ground if you're into that thing or um, eating something like grounded. Like to me, eating potatoes like or carrots, food, vegetables that are in the ground that are, that are grown in the ground is a great way to ground yourself physically like by eating it. At least that's what I've heard. <laughs> Capricorn queen of grounding. Yes. Also, I love being barefoot. Earthing, earthing they call it. Yes. I love to be barefoot too. I like to drive barefoot. That's my favorite thing. I'm always in like chanclas, so I love to walk barefoot. You're up in Canada and you can't wait until you can ground outside again. It's so cold and snowy. Yeah, when it's snowy and cold, I would, I totally get it. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be putting my feet in the ground either. <laughs> yeah, root vegetables. Yes. Oh, I love that idea. Root veggies and root chakra. Yep, exactly. Okay, guys. So let's do the reading first. 
Um, I just want to do a reading for us, like what we should focus on um, in terms of grounding this week. Um, I really want to focus root chakra energy for the week, the whole week. I'm not talking about just today. I'm talking about like this entire week. I know, like I said, just for me personally, I need it. So I'm going to just follow with what I need, but I think we should focus root chakra energy. So the root is your energy center is located either and you can look at it as in the spine your like in your booty <laughs> or i look at it in my feet i see the root i feel the root in my feet because to me my feet are what carry me from point a to point b um and if there are roots growing from my body i imagine it from straight from my feet so however you guys associate the root chakra um, use, you know, you can imagine it in that way. So we're going to focus on the root chakra today for the meditation. Um, but let's do the reading. So I have four decks that I'm going to pull a card from. So I'm going to pull from the native spirit Oracle. This deck screams root chakra energy to me. It screams grounding and just, oopsie, we had one. We, it, it screams, um, grounding and just like, just, uh, like, I don't know, it's like earth energy to me. So the card that flew out is kind of funny. I don't like saying the word smudge, but um, smoke cleansing, cleansing ceremony. And it's funny because one of you guys just mentioned that you were doing that major cleanse in your house. So here is the cleansing card coming out. Um, I'm seeing that honestly, like spirit is kind of showing me just like all of the caca energy releasing from our bodies, okay? <laughs> so all week, this week, cleansing energy, we need to focus on um, letting shit go, letting stuff go, don't harbor it. But this cleansing energy, this doesn't have to just be in yourself, it could also be in your house. Hi love, it could be um, in your, in your car that's one thing i learned because i commute all the time hi mary i commute all the time and i'm realizing i need to start cleansing my car so if you are like me and you you practically live in your car as well <laughs> cleanse your car cleanse your house cleanse yourself cleanse you know areas of your house your office your room that you frequent your pillow that's a big one cleansing your pillow, your favorite chair, your office chair, if you're always at the office, um, things like that. But I feel like we need to focus on getting rid of caca energy. That's major. <laughs> Let's see what else we got to focus on this week. So this deck, I think this is called your true colors oracle. And then it's also a blend of another oracle. Oh, I think it's like Venus rising or something. It's an Etsy it's an Etsy deck, but I can't remember who created it, so I apologize. This one wants to come out. Look beyond the obvious. Oh, we got two cards. Look beyond the obvious. And honor the masculine. Freaking love it. So looking beyond the obvious. When we look beyond that, to me, I just heard the gray area. So to me, when you... When you're focusing in on the gray area or you're focusing in on the details that you miss because you're so focused on what is obvious, you know, in front of your face, you catch a lot of things that you normally would miss. And I feel like that kind of goes hand in hand with um, the cleansing that we're going to be doing. When we're not cleansed and we're not grounded, we literally are so scatterbrained. We're all over the place. We can't focus on things. Um, and so it's kind of like pay attention to the stuff that you normally would look past. And this includes people too. I feel like this week, a lot of us might be encountering like chance encounters with strangers. So if you work a lot with the public, I do. Um, I challenge you to smile and, and say hello to a stranger. Ask somebody how they're doing, okay? That's a good one too is like, start kind of start mingling with people that you normally wouldn't talk to bring that loving energy to other people because you never know what's going on in someone else's life they may need that i know for me like if i'm having an off day and somebody says hi to me and i'm ready to cry <laughs> that little hello can mean so much so i think we should challenge ourselves at least once this week if you're not usually somebody that does that um challenge yourself 
to say hello to a stranger or give someone a compliment, somebody that you normally wouldn't talk to. Um, because you don't know, that could be literally the sunshine in their day, okay? So then the other one is honor the masculine. I love this. Um, I know when I was having my anxiety last week, I was so heavily uncomfortable with my more masculine energy. And that is the fact that um, me needing to be more independent outside of my husband, me needing to be able to take care of business, to handle the house when I'm by myself, that shit scares me. And so that's like, to me, that's part of my masculine energy needing to come out. I need to honor myself and know I am strong and I can take care of business if I need to. I don't need a man to always take care of it for me and I need to get outside of that mindset. So for me personally, that's how I'm reading this one. But some of you for honoring your masculine, um, we all have a masculine and a feminine energy within us. And so there might be one that you um, gravitate to more because you're more comfortable with it. So ask yourself, what are the reasons why you are uncomfortable with the opposite energy? And so for me, masculine energy is because to me, it's, you know, it's easy to be inside my emotions and sensitive because that's how I am. That's my nature. But when you're honoring your masculine, you're honoring a more powerful version of yourself. You're honoring somebody or some, just a more aggressive nature. Um, I mean, you could be aggressive and feminine at the same time, but like, I think you guys know what I'm saying, I'm trying to say. At least that's how I'm associating it. But honoring your masculine, so ask yourself, you know, when it comes to your masculine energy, what is it that you are uncomfortable with? What can you kind of, what, what little activities or things that you can do to change that about yourself to feel more comfortable with that energy? Masculine energy can also be, um, you know, getting more in touch with God, God energy or um, like a certain archangel or um, a goddess and, and God energy. You know what I'm saying? Like you can do that. Um, how else can we associate this? If you guys have any ideas, you know, you could totally put them out there in the chat so people can see it. Um, but in some form or the other, honoring your masculine is a theme here for the week. The music's all sad. <laughs> okay, let's see for the chakra energy. All right. Oh, we have love. So the heart chakra, love energy. This is funny because um, I was putting out a lot of messages the last day or two about self-love and self-care. So I'm associating love energy with that. Being comfortable with yourself, loving yourself more, giving yourself more credit when credit is due, um, and also expressing love out to other people. So like I was talking about um, when I was saying like, I challenge you this week to say hello to a stranger or give someone a compliment or talk to somebody that you normally would never talk to. Give, give that love vibration out. Um, a lot of the times, like when we talk about law of attraction, what you put out, you attract. So for like myself, um, when I was um, anxiety, when I was having anxiety, I was putting out fears and I don't wanna attract that, you know what I mean? So it's like a cycle, I'm, it's an endless cycle. And so I think what a, a way to um, divert that is put out love energy and you will attract that, you know, put out friendly, funny, um, social energy and you will attract that back to you. Make some new friends or, um, you know, speak to a coworker maybe that you've never talked to before or something, you know, like have some more social interaction in different ways that you normally wouldn't do. Um, I feel like this week the theme is all about like, yes, it's all about grounding and cleansing ourselves, but I'm also sensing this week is also stepping into our more uncomfortable um, vibration and also trying things differently, you know, try doing something different out of the norm that we're used to. Okay, so now I'm going to pull from my um, Albano weight and it, this deck was in order, so it's perfect. It's like ready to go let's see ooh 
I love it. So we have King of Wands energy coming up, masculine, okay? That's one thing. King of Wands energy, though, is chatterbox. I always think of King of Wands energy as like people who like to talk, who love to express, you know, themselves. They're very creative um, people. They're very go-getters. They are on fire. They're fire energy. So they're just all about themselves. They are the center of attention. Um, so King of Wands energy this, this week, let's, let's learn to embrace that. Let's place ourselves, um, maybe out in the spotlight, which is kind of what the Nine of Cups is making me think of you know, putting yourself out there, like really allowing yourself to feel good for all, all of the things that you have or all of the things that you've, you know, you've manifested so far in your life, putting yourself out there. Um, the other thing though, problematic card right here, the seven of swords. And to me, this is kind of saying like sometimes when we are in the process of cleanse, sometimes we have to walk away or let go and be without something that usually we use as a crutch. That's kind of how I'm seeing the Seven of Swords this week, is we might take advantage of things, people, emotions, food, okay, food, um, substances, we don't always need it. So I feel like this is kind of like a, a, a card that's kind of saying for this week, be without it. You know what I mean? Like there's some, there's certain things we don't need. There's certain things that we think that we need to make us feel better and we don't always need it. Um, I feel like, like I'm saying, I feel like the vibration this week is being uncomfortable to grow. Okay. Are you sure this reading wasn't solely for me? <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad to hear. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. Um, I just think I'm, I'm like really like tuning in. I really feel like this week is, is asking us to... And I'm not saying you guys have to be uncomfortable to make yourself like, don't be miserable, but you guys know when you're uncomfortable, that's where growth happens, right? Um, and so for me, like I'll use myself as an example, when I'm having crippling anxiety because I'm afraid someone's going to break in the house or I'm afraid of being home alone, or I don't like the thought of being away from my husband. Um, that's me. I have to be uncomfortable. I have to put myself through that. And, and feel it and go through it because if I don't, I will never grow and get out of it, you know? So to me, it's that seven of swords is, is, is screaming at me to be honest with myself and just say, you know what? I'm worthy of doing this and I can do it. I can handle it. So that's like one way I'm seeing the cards. Let's see. Hi, Papa. It's okay. Little crybaby. Ooh, <laughs> so we got the Empress and the Devil card coming up. So this to me, the, the, the Devil card is kind of like those things, right? Like this is, that's what I was talking about with that Seven of Swords. Shit that you think you need to feel better, but you don't always need it. That's what Devil card is representing. We're facing our demons this week, okay? Look at it that way. When you're, go, when you're doing cleanses and stuff, you're facing your demons. You're facing, and your demons don't have to be super major. It could be something as simple as, I like to eat sweets late at night and I know it doesn't make me feel good. Or um, I feel like I need, you know, one extra glass of wine because I need to unwind. But sometimes we don't need that, you know. We get to that point where we're so comfortable and we need it. We think we need it, but we don't. Um, that Empress energy, she's so much of the vibration of love. She's also power. She's also like, she's a, she's a power source. She creates, she manifests. Um, and, and she's so much greater than, you know, her own demons, but even the most perfect and powerful woman out there still has her demons. So we are all imperfect. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sometimes we almost need our imperfections to be who we are to make us stronger. And that's like a kind of like a silver lining or a positive way that you can look at your, at your more shortcomings, um, and honoring your more negatives because, we need our negatives to grow. If we, if we didn't have these things, we wouldn't need to grow. You know what I'm saying? So you have to kind of look at it in that way. So that was the reading for the week. So I just like full force this week, let's focus on root chakra energy. So if you're all into chakra energy or crystals, you know, get crystals that you associate with that root or that grounding energy. If you're in, you know, good weather areas, put your feet in the ground. I know I did it today. I'm going to try and do it every day. 
um, or step walk barefoot like right now I'm barefoot I don't have any shoes on um, the other thing cleansing so doing some cleanses is if you need a, a self cleanse self cleanse cleanse your car your house your space your workspace um, your, you know your pets whatever <laughs> that your pillow like wherever you frequent especially if you're having a hard time sleeping cleanse your pillows you guys cleanse your bed that's a big one um, and then looking beyond the obvious try to see notice things even people that you normally wouldn't notice honoring your masculine so some for some of you this could be a big one I know it is for me um, honoring your masculine you know getting more comfortable with some of your more uncomfortable parts of yourself you know and then the love card is coming up so the vibration of love giving love to other people and also welcoming it and, and getting yourself in that place of accepting love because some of you may struggle with that some of you may think I am NOT worthy of love or I don't deserve it no this is self-love love 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 you deserve it <laughs> Okay, now let's do um, let's do our grounding meditation. Now that I now that I talked, let me just settle down. Uh, I have lavender spray. This stuff, this stuff is like relaxing. I want to light incense, but I don't want Apollo to smell the smoke. <laughs> It resonates good girl I'm glad okay so I'm gonna do a grounding meditation um, get yourself a crystal if you love crystals if you work with crystals I'm gonna use my amethyst I always I don't, I don't know I just feel like amethyst today <laughs> um, so get your crystals and we're gonna do a grounding meditation so um, grounding if you want to get barefoot you know take off your shoes Slip your shoes off, put your feet on the ground if you can. Or think of your booty, like your booty sitting on the floor. You know, you could do that too if you don't want to take off your shoes or you can't take your shoes off. If you're laying down, perfect. If you're sitting down, put your feet on the floor. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> Paulo's looking at me like, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, guys, so as I ring um, my little singing bowl, just kind of start taking deep breaths. I want you to like imagine your blood pressure, like, you know, it's all racing right now. Just imagine everything settling down. And you can close your eyes, you can keep your eyes open, whatever you feel comfortable with. If you have a crystal, hold it in your hand. And you just imagine yourself in a just a pure black room or white. Take everything away from you right now. So just imagine everything disappearing. It's just solely you in the present moment. Let's take in a deep breath. And out. And if you're alone or if you don't feel silly, when you're doing your out breath, you can let it out like loud, it feels good. So just let that breath out. As you let that breath out, you feel, you just feel your whole body sink. Just allow yourself to sink into your chair, or your bed. Everything around you is disappearing. It's just you in your present space.
Let's put that protective light around us for this meditation. So imagine that glowing gold light or that white light, whatever color you associate, we could do red for the root chakra. Imagine that ball of light starting from the top of your head and let it start to rain all down your body as it comes and drapes over your face, down the sides, over your back. Let that protective light fall through your entire body and your being. That warm root chakra energy. It's like a little oven around us. in a deep breath and out feel your feet into the ground and start imagining little roots little tiny roots growing from the bottoms of your feet at the spine at your booty <laughs> little roots growing down into the seat into your into your bed and the floor and their security its stability honor that red glow as those roots begin to grow firmly into the ground allow them to grow I want to be stable. I want to be grounded. I want to be firm. Let the roots continue to grow down under the soil as they make their way to the center of the core of our earth, holding you tight together, the roots of your life. And imagine just nourishing energy flowing through those roots from, from all of the veins in your body, all going down to those roots, to the core of the earth. Feel that flow as you glow red with that grounding energy. I'm grounded, we're stable. I am firmly founded in the ground. I am there. I am present. I am strong. Take in a deep breath. And out. Allow yourself to feel the flow of that stable energy going through you. Let go of any worries. If you have a random thought, let it appear and then let it go. Everything is okay in my present moment. I'm stable. I am grounded. I'm protected. I am ready for my week. Now let's start growing beauty around our roots. We have roots all the way through to the ground. Our bloodstream is flowing energy through our roots. Let's imagine little flowers blooming all throughout our body. I'm beautiful, I'm honored. I am present in my moment. Imagine little flowers sprouting all throughout your body. Little kisses of love from the universe. And welcome that loving vibration.
And then we're gonna be taking in some deep breaths. And as you let it go, I want you to think about all of the things that clutter your mind, that give you anxiety, that anger you, that, that anything that doesn't ground you, let's release it, okay? So get it all gathered up in your mind. And we're gonna take in a deep breath. And then let it out. And I release what doesn't serve me. I release what makes me bothered. I let it go. Take in another deep breath. And out. I'm cleansing my body, I cleanse my soul, I cleanse my heart. I wanna get rid of what no longer serves me. I do not need this anymore. I am grounded and I am ready for my week. I am strong and I am rooted into the earth. Nothing can stop me. I'm ready for the next day and the rest of the week to come. And slowly kind of start bringing some life back into you. You can wiggle your fingers, your toes. Stretch out your arms. Wake up your body. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. And you just sit in that space. Sometimes you know, you're tingly when you first come out of your meditation. You feel tingly or you're, like my hands always get super cold. So just bring back that life to your body. And then that's a, that's a quick little grounding meditation. And I mean, it could honestly just take two seconds. Sometimes all you need to do, especially when you first wake up in the morning, just wake up and you tell yourself, you know, I am grounded. I ground myself. Put your feet into the ground and I'm ready for the day. Hopefully that'll get you guys, you know, <sighs> you'll be ready for your week. But like I said, this week we'll focus on, um, we sh or we should focus on grounding energy. And so sh um, crystals that I, let me put the music lower, crystals that I, um, Crystals that I associate with the root chakra are um, like, well, you could do color association. So you could do um, like red crystals. Um, red jasper is a really good one. The red coral is a good one. Um, carnelian, um, anything, like any kind of crystal. You can even do smoky quartz. Smoky quartz is probably a really good one, especially if you're doing dealing with anxiety and, and like depression. Smoky quartz is a good one for that too. Um, clear quartz obviously is good for everything. You literally sat right down in your kitchen and grabbed the closest crystal to you and meditated. Oh, I love it. That's so cute. <laughs> Um, what else could you do? You could wear grounding jewelry. Like I said, you can eat. So choose like your, with your meals. Like today I'm going to be putting potato in, um, our meat that we're going to be eating. So potatoes, carrots, um, vegetables, things that grow in the ground are good symbols of like grounded meals. You know what I'm saying? Um, what else could you do for grounding stuff? If you have like root chakra sprays, like sometimes they sell like little sprays for that, you could do that. Whatever you do, you know, there's no right or wrong way to do it. But um, kind of like be focused this week on keeping yourself grounded, getting some vitamin D, putting your feet in the ground, walk barefoot at home, okay? 
Um, take care of your feet. Give self-care, you know, pamper your feet. I painted my toes today. <laughs> I haven't painted my toes like since October. So, you know, some pamper yourself with your feet. Give your feet love this week. Um, just pay, just take care of yourself, you know, you guys. But um, with the cleansing, a lot of cleansing going on this week. I mean, we probably cleanse like on a daily basis. But think of ways to cleanse that are different from what you're used to. If you usually do a cleanse in just like one space of your house, get kind of crafty and think of like other areas that you frequent. Like I said, like your pillow or your car or, um, you know, the couch, wherever you are like usually always at your bathroom. <laughs> um, just make sure you cleanse it. Um, but I think this week is going to be like one of those weeks where we allow ourselves to be uncomfortable so that we can expand and grow. So with that, my loves, thank you for tuning in. Um, I will be around if you want to chit chat. And, um, like I said, this will be available for replay for the next 24 hours. And I'm going to also download it to my YouTube channel. So it'll be there. You can catch it anytime you feel like you need a grounding meditation. Thank you for joining me and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye my loves.